Hello, everybody. Thank you to join us in this uh, new appointment uh, by Concite Group. Uh, we can start uh, the webinar uh, with the title Bank Statement Integration. Before to start, I would like uh, to introduce myself. I'm Marta Pivia, Marketing Executive in Concite Group, and some information about Concite also. We are a NetSuite solution provider and uh, we are NetSuite customer since uh, 2018. So we use uh, in this platform for, to manage uh, our business. We are an Oracle partner um, since many years and delivery services on uh, GD Edwards and the Oracle Analytics application. We have uh, operational offices in Italy and Switzerland, but uh, with Switzerland, but uh, we have uh, uh, a commitment, international commitment, so we work around the world. The agenda of today, we have a brief uh, introduction, uh, set up uh, import bank account, then uh, we are going to see the configuration import rule, the import bank statement, bank statement, uh, bank register, uh, reconciliation summary, and finally we have um, the session uh, Q&A if you have uh, any question about it. So now I, lay, I leave the word uh, to my colleague, uh, Luca Mantegazza. Hi, Luca. Thank you, Marta. Hi, you all. I'm Luca, business consultant in Constec. Today, we are going to see the import bank statement application into the system. The application is structured in three uh, main modules that are the setup bank statement import rule, uh, that is, that are the first main module. The second main module is the import bank statement file, and then is the bank reconciliation and bank register application. Now we are going to check on the system our application and how it's work. The first module is the bank statement setup rule. First of all, it's, we need to set the file format that we want to use for the codification. In this case, we set the CBI format, that is the mandatory bank, electronic bank format used in Italy. Then we need to choose the folder ID, that is the file folder where the files are stored into the system. On Netflix. In this way, we can always extract the original file imported. Then we have the general, the general transaction codification that works on different levels. For example, in, the, in this case, we set the rule on match open transaction on, on exact amount and match open transaction on entity name. And we set the same information also for the closed transaction. Then we have the specific rule that are in the subtab custom. The custom rule payment difference uh, help us to reconciliate the transaction with different amount between uh, the file read, uh, the original file read from the bank and the file and the transaction into the system. The second rule is the code match rule. The code match rule help us to create to automatically create a transaction by the code description, so the transaction types of NetSuite. In this case, for example, we mapped the 16 value as a commission because for the CBI format, the 16 natural code transaction is the commission, it's a, it's a bank fee commission. In the bank statement import account, we only need to choose uh, which account are correlated to this rule, to this import setup. And then for in the custom rule name match, we need, uh, we have the chance or, or we need to map the real name read on our bank file and the right entity on into the system. Because we know that sometime the name read on the original bank file will be different from the real entity of NetSuite. Now we come back on our own page and we are going to check the second module. The second module is the bank statement import. This is the heart of our application. With the bank statement import, we can set our bank account that we want to use 
and then we are going to choose the real original file received from our bank and we are going to import it into the system. On our home page, we have also the bank statement list. On the bank statement list, we can see all the bank statement imported. In this case, we are going to check our bank file imported for our test. First of all, we can see the bank account that we use for the import. Then we can see the competence of our, of our file imported that is, that is uh, shown by the transaction from transaction to function. Into the bank start balance and bank end balance are shown the start and the end balance read directly on our bank file. With the unmatched transaction, it's possible to understand which transaction need to be reconciliated manually. Now we are going to check all the row of our bank file imported. By the matched column, we can see if the transaction is already matched into the system or need to be reconciliated manually. We have also the date of our transaction and then the nature of our transaction shown as transaction type. The counterparty is the entity read in the, in the original bank file. And then we have a description that is a note write by our bank. By the column of uh, by the column of in and out, we can check the, if the transaction for us is an income or a payment or a cost. By the matches column, we can see also the general rule applied by the system. Then we have only the last column, that is the action column. Here we can proceed to use the manual transaction reconciliation function. But first, we are going to check the column of matches to understand how the application has worked for the moment. By the matched by open transaction entity name, the application was able to generate a real payment correlated to an open invoice. Now we are going to check the payment generated. On the payment generated, we see that uh, the payment generated is rightly applied to an invoice of Netflix. In the second part of our application, we can see the second rule that is the matched by code match. The code match function um, works by the nature of our, of our application. So the transaction type 16, it's a generation of an invoice of a journal entry. The journal entry generated by the system, it's here. And we can see that, that this transaction is correlated to the rule codified on our, on our application. We can also see that the app uh, has write the commission description. The last rule, the last general rule, is the matched by closed transaction on exact amount. In this case, uh, there was already a bill payment into the system, and so the application hasn't generated a duplicated, but has matched the already existing bill payment. This was a real bill payment into the system, make done a few days ago, and the system has only matched it with the right line. Um, now we are going to check the manual function of reconciliation. We start with the find match function. The find match function helps us to uh, map a row of our bank statement with a real transaction, with a real transaction into the system, if there are. On the find match function, it's possible to map a row of our bank statement with a real transaction on Netflix. For example, in this case, we're going to check if there are transactions in a competence date uh, selected. For example, from the start of June to the end of June. We click on search. And we can see that here we have an open invoice, but with a different amount between the payment received from our bank. 
So in this case, we can select our invoice that we want to pay and also set the rule that we want to applicate to this, uh, to this transaction. For example, a bank fee is positive. Once we click on bank fees positive, we are going to click on save. Once we click on save, once we click on save, it's possible to see that the application that our application will generate not only a customer payment, but also a journal entry to recognize the income. In fact, we have generated a customer payment, a customer payment and a journal entry that we're going to check into the system. Here, the payment that closed our invoice and then the journal entry. The last function of bank statement import is the remove match function that allows the app to remove the match and also delete the transaction only if the transaction was generated by the application. For example, in this case, we have generated this journal entry from the uh, code match rule, and so we can delete it with the remove match function. We're going to check that the journal entry is really deleted. So we can see here the journal entry. We click on remove match, and if we click on both, we can see that the journal entry is unmatched from the bank statement imported, and also the record is not more uh, present on NetSuite. Uh, with the uh, remove match function, we can't delete uh, any transaction that are already existing on NetSuite. For example, in this case, we have our bill payment manually generated before of the import, and if you click on remove match, the bill payment is already existing into the system. If you want to match again that bill payment with this line of our bank file, we have only to click on auto match line to make the system work works again. The create transaction function uh, allows us to uh, create journal entry or customer deposit in order to book transaction that are not so easy to reconciliate into the system. For example, in this case, we are going to book um, we're going to book a commission on exchange rate. So we set the transaction type that is a journal entry. We set the, the preferred account, for example, another expenses account. And then we have only to click on save to create the transaction. That is a journal entry with the, the, with the account shoes. We open our journal entry. And now we can see that the account moves are the, our bank account and the account shoes by our side. We come back on our own page to check the last module of our application. The last module of our application is, is the reconciliation module. The bank register application helps uh, help us in this task. The bank register application um, allow the insert of our bank account of NetSuite. We can also choose the competence date, uh, the competence date that we want to inquire. For example, June in our scenario. We set all the information and we click on refresh. Here are shown all the transactions that need to be uh, reconciliated, all the transactions that are already reconciliated. We can also check our bank, bank balance and then we can also click on export in Excel to extract that, this file. We come back on our own page again, and on the bank reconciliation summary, we can check all the data imported into the system for each bank account of NetSuite. 
by the function item to mention, it's also possible inquire all the uh, bank statement imported and if it's necessary to reconciliate it. Now we come back to our, to our own page. Thank you very much for your attention. I will leave the floor to my colleague Marta. Thank you, Luca. In the meantime, during the session, we received some uh, some questions. So I have the first one for you is uh, what bank records uh, can we manage uh, with the application? Uh, we can manage all the electronic bank format used in Europe. For example, also the count 53 or the count 52. And then uh, how are managed uh, the automatic transactions generated by the application? All the transactions generated from the application and matched from the application follow the standard processes and the standard rule of, of NetSuite. So uh, we, can, uh, we can't overwrite the uh, NetSuite environment feature. And so in this way, we can't have any issue correlated to our application. And finally, the last one is high imported data also read from uh, NetSuite standard reports. Yes, of course. All the transactions generated and matched uh, have the, G the classic GL impact of NetSuite. So they are shown in uh, all the standard report of NetSuite. And we can also use it uh, for the end of, a, uh, end of the year closing procedure. Perfect. Now I share my screen uh, just to share we, we do the next uh, appointment. Uh, next talk about uh, our bundle in NetSuite uh, is about uh, NetSuite Libile integration. Obviously, contact us uh, if you have any question about this, uh, this last session. Uh, thank you for your attention and your time. Have a nice evening.